Good morning and welcome to today's reflection. Today's reading is Mark 8, verse 27 to 9, verse 1. Jesus and his disciples went on to the village around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked them, who do people say that I am? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. But what about you, he asked, who do you say I am? Peter answered, you're the Christ. Jesus warned them not to tell anyone about him. He then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, chief priests and teachers of the law, and he must be killed after three days and rise again. He spoke plainly about this and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the things of God, but the things of men. Then he called the crowd to them along with his disciples and said, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world, yet forfeit his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in the adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. And he said to them, I tell you the truth, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God come to power. This is the word of the Lord. So from the start, Mark confesses that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, Christ, or anointed one of God. The question is, who is Jesus? The way we answer this question determines who we are and our purpose that we have in our lives today the decisions that we make and who we cannot discover who we are until we know who Jesus actually is. This is the question Jesus confronts his disciples and for us today. It is easy to believe in Jesus when you're surrounded by other Christians, but more difficult when you have non-believers who question you and ask who Jesus is. The disciples need to remind who they are, who are their target and their target audience. Who would be the people who don't believe? Who needs to hear the good news? It's not fellow Christians, it's the ones who don't believe. Jesus warned the disciples not to tell anyone about him. It would be premature for the disciples to go into the world and preach the good news only to after his death and after his resurrection. And secondly, the disciples were to go and proclaim Jesus, the Messiah, it would raise a lot of false hope among the people who were then probably expecting an earthly Messiah who would fill their political hopes to deliver them from the Roman Empire. Jesus predicts his death to the disciples, his suffering, his rejection, and finally his death. Peter rebuked him and Jesus rebuked Peter. Peter knows Jesus is Christ, but doesn't grasp the whole concept of what Jesus is actually saying. Jesus then asks the disciples and the crowd to follow him. He calls followers to see who really wants to join him. True disciples follow Jesus by imitating him to truly participate in the kingdom he proclaims and the work to which he calls us to do. Discipleship is not easy and we need to expect the sum of the consequences like Jesus faced in his life and in his death. Amen. And now for a short prayer. Lord, you are all knowing and full of wisdom. Your plan is masterful. Help me as your disciple to follow you in every thought, word, and deed, and give us the grace to love and serve you. 
Amen and goodbye.